how'd you go about picking art for this book? The process of picking art for this book was painstaking. Um, you know, it's like something like 20 years of of art, you know, and uh, you know, hundreds and hundreds of pieces that we're all very emotionally attached to that give us a charge this way or that way. And it was kind of rough going through um, and, and figuring out which ones exactly we wanted to really have evidenced in the book. You know, certainly have evidenced, you know, as part of the show. Um, but that was kind of the magic of it too. Um, the process of picking the art really brought us together as a group. You know, a lot of times it's been 20 years and we barely even talk anymore about a lot of this old art. Um, and it allowed us to really get that perspective and almost like this nostalgic memory lane thing where we really got to enjoy this stuff again and really remember how precious it is and um, how great all these memories are. The knucklehead kids we were when we got started <laughs> drawing all these pictures 20 years ago and just kind of how it, how it is now, you know, it's like our games are all on, around the world and it's just, in a way, this art book is kind of a, uh, a weird time capsule of all that. It's been a really amazing process of, of watching it all come together. You know? And what role have fans played in the evolution of Blizzard art over the years, especially with fan art? Man, the fan art is, uh, is something we, we particularly love. Um, you know, there's sections on our website where people are constantly kind of posting, you know, their own visions and things. I mean, you, you got to remember, I mean, from a development standpoint, you know, we're working on art all the time. You know, our concept teams, our, our, our uh, you know, production painters. Um, and while it's not always by assignment, there's certainly always an agenda, right? Well, we got this zone to build, we got this race to build, I got this villain over here. Um, and so it's always, you know, you're always trying to put these ideas together and there's always kind of a bounding plane on how far you go creatively um, to, you know, achieve the assignment. What I love about fan art is that no one asked them to do it. It's a labor of love. It's pure vision. It's pure emotional response. Um, and oftentimes, uh, uh, I I learned things about these franchises that never would have occurred to me if they're just looking through the eyes of someone that lives it and plays it and was so passionate about it they painted their own picture about it. And I, I see things in that or I see themes echo in fan art that uh, I don't know that would ever occur to us to, to chase and that keeps you honest um, and it's certainly very inspiring. You know. And what excites you about the future of video game art? The future of video game art? I, I mean. Everything excites me about the future of video game art. I think, you know, with the rise of digital media and certainly like 3D and all that stuff and the things that can be accomplished within games themselves, I think the sky's the limit, you know? I mean, it, it's limitless vision. You know, we can, we can take you anywhere. We can create any fantasy, any experience and put you right in the middle of it. Um, so we've never been less bounded, you know? It's, it's, it's literally an infinite highway. Um, and I love watching, you know, like, like the guys at our shop, other studios, all the other game studios out there. I love watching everybody just to see where they're going, how they're pushing forward. And, uh, you know, we're all in it together. You know, it's just the highway of imagination, you know. Was there an example of any art you've done that didn't quite make it into games that you would love to see? Uh, it, it, you know, uh, what's funny, what I particularly love about this art book um, is that the final chapter is... Uh, a collection of art from unreleased games, you know, so ideas and games and worlds, you know, ideas that we never really got off the ground. So I love the idea that people can kind of see some of these visions. And uh, what I love about it also is that it's photographic proof that I actually used to draw for this company. So I actually got some pieces in there and I'm very happy about that. Um, but I think all these things are just windows into, you know, possibilities that that never really came to fruition, but somehow they still kind of echo for me, you know, and I'm really curious to see if they echo for others and if people just kind of just get geeked up, you know, little snapshots of the, of the unknown, you know, interested to see how people respond to that.